Jason. Hi. Hey. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just uh, actually had my follow-up with Patrick. Looks like I'm free and clear for the next six months. That's great news. Yeah, I'm just glad to be done with it. Well, you certainly look a lot better than you did the last time I saw you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for letting me talk. I hope uh, you and Dr. Keenan were able to have a good night. You and then I had a nice dinner. We just talked. It was very low-key. <laughs> However, my brother is being ridiculous. Your brother? Yeah, he thinks I'm holding back with you, and... Well, why? Because of you. I don't know why my brother is so involved in my personal life, but he asked me how things were going with Ewan, and I told him that I had him over for dinner, and earlier you had shown up, and that I couldn't stop worrying about you. Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't have, uh... I shouldn't have shown up like that. Why not? Well, we're friends. You needed someone to talk to. Uh, Stephen has decided that because... because of our history, and you know, that a simple conversation isn't... Just a simple conversation. He's afraid that I'm going to put myself in a position where I might end up getting hurt again. Because of me? Uh, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it? Maybe not. Stan, I, mean, I, don't, I don't mean you're a destructive force in my life. I mean, God knows if there's a destructive force, it's me. When it comes to relationships, I... Ruin every single one of them. Well, no, look, if, if our friendship is causing problems, I can just no, back off. No, no, come on. I can be your friend and date you and at the same time. And that's exactly what I told my brother. And he doesn't believe you. <laughs> He's my big brother. And he watched me fall apart when things didn't work out with Lucky. He just doesn't want to see me going through that again. I can't say I blame him. But you are stronger now. Yeah. Because I finally let go. It took a really long time, but I finally accepted that no matter how much I love Lucky, we just can't be together. And that's okay. It's okay because I have learned from it, and I'm ready to move on. Well, maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe it's over for me and Sam. You have a great name, so I... Uh... with Sam is very different from mine with Lucky. You guys are still married. You have a foundation to rebuild on. Yeah, I asked her to come home, and she won't. Give her time. Elizabeth, nothing I can say or do can ever change the fact that her son died because of That's me. That's not true. Sam believes it is. I mean, would you stay married to the guy who's responsible for your child's death? The thing that can bring us back together is the one thing that I can't do, and that's give Sam her son back. I know she feels that way now, but hopefully she'll find a way I to just, forgive I you. I just keep going back to this, this one moment. This one moment at the garden shed. You know, Sam was insisting on holding the baby even, you know, even after he was gone. And I put him in her arms, and, and she said it wasn't the same baby. Huh. That someone must have switched the baby and, and, and put, it, put another child there. It must have been her way of dealing with the loss. But I wish she was right. Because that would mean that the baby's still out there. And I would find him. And put our family back together again. Oh, here we are. Bernie. Yeah, no, just text me the info. Uh, I'm sorry, I, 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 I have okay? to go. I have to find somebody for Sunny, and I just got to leave. New Orleans. I realize there's no point in saying this, but try to be careful. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. <laughs>